Dozens of students in Jefferson Parish were left searching for a ride home today after a second bus driver sick out. Good evening and thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Sharice Gibson. Katie has the night off. Our drivers are asking for better pay, but the district hasn't said much publicly about whether it will negotiate or how it's looking to solve that problem. Meantime, Devin Bartolotta found out students are caught in the middle. The sign at the administration building couldn't make it more obvious. Jefferson Parish Public Schools knows it has a problem keeping bus drivers and keeping them happy. But this is the consequence. Dozens of kids standing outside their high school without a ride home. No, my bus didn't come today. Jamiri Joseph, a senior at West Jefferson, had to take an Uber or Lyft home two days in a row. Other kids split taxis or walked. All because 49 bus drivers called out district-wide Friday a sick out as they demand better treatment from the district. Right now, Jefferson Parish have a problem because they can't keep making us cover routes. At a rally Thursday, drivers told us they're running too many routes for not enough pay and can't even afford maintenance or gas. We trying to live and try to eat, and right now it's costing me money to keep this bus running, and cost of living is, is just getting at us. Jefferson Parish Public Schools ignored our questions for a second day, refusing to answer how many schools this impacts, how many drivers they need to finish a normal day of routes, and if they have any alternate plan to get kids to and from school. The school did send out a text and robocall to families affected, like so Carolyn Arso. I'll just be the chauffeur. I'm the Uber driver. <laughs> she said she's lucky she could Uber. pick up her grandchildren from both elementary and high school, but knows many families aren't as flexible. Half of them don't have transportation to getting their kids. So half of the kids gonna miss school. While schools will excuse absences of kids who can't get to school, students are still pinned in the middle of a battle between drivers and the district. If I was in their shoes, I would have did the same thing because low pay, that's not right. But having all these kids really, really suffering weight, that's, that's not right neither. So I'm kind of in between with the situation. In Harvey, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. Well, drivers say this will continue until they get an answer from JP Schools.